Yo, what's up guys? Joker bringing you another video for Once Human. I wanted to go ahead and make a video going over the current issues with Once Human. Well, the biggest current issue, right? I saw Co-Carnage put out a video, Pirate Software talked on it, Asmin talked on it, and a bunch of the reviews are talking about it. And you're probably aware, but it is going to be the seasonal game model. As a person who plays a lot of seasonal games, I mean, I'm literally playing one right now, right? I'm playing Dead Man Mode for Old School RuneScape. I plan on playing Path of Exile when it drops here on Friday. I play uh, Last Epoch. I play Torchlight. I play Diablo 4, right? So I feel like I have a relatively good take on what would make a seasonal game mode successful in Once Human. And it's mainly, uh, to TLDR the video, it is going to be mainly additive, right? The first thing that I feel like the devs uh, need to come out and address is state something like instead of the Eternal Land, they're adding a, a Eternal server, right? Every seasonal game mode that I play has a internal server. The Eternal Land is not the same as this. It is more of an instance private thing for you and maybe a couple of friends. They need to add eternal servers. Now on the back end, that may um, increase the, um, the like server cost and everything, but with as healthy as a player base as once human has, it really shouldn't be an issue at all. And um, I think that's going to be the first and foremost thing that would make a lot of players happier that if you're planning on keeping six week seasons, put an internal realm in the game. That way, the people that don't have the time, because six weeks is incredibly short, it's literally half the time of like every other seasonal game mode I play at least half. So they either need to double it or just make an internal server. That way people can still play. And then the people playing the seasonal servers still have a server to fall back on in the downtime in between seasons and potentially show off the rewards that you get from the season, uh, essentially driving more attention, maybe getting more people to want to play the seasons, right? So that's going to be the first thing that I think would really help is going to be um, some kind of uh, eternal server. The next thing that I think would help help quite drastically is increasing the amount of time, right? Six weeks is really not that long. I feel like they should at least double this, if not make these seasons longer. I know they have already addressed this somewhat, saying some of the seasons are six weeks and some may be longer. I think at a baseline, seasons should be eight to 12 weeks, like at a bare minimum, right? And then you can have longer seasons than that, but at a bare minimum, it should be eight to 12 weeks, right? Around two to three months is what they need to do because a lot of people are not gonna have the time to get everything done and having their character wipe after that would literally turn them away from the game. That's why a lot of people weren't happy with Diablo 4 seasons is because they felt like they lost a lot of their progress and D4 catered to a lot closer of the audience that Once Human is in terms of like the, the type of player that plays it, right? That, that more casual player. Right now I have 66 hours in the game and I want to say about 50 of it was completing everything, right? Unlocking the map and killing all of the bosses, leveling up my character, grinding out some gear. A lot of people aren't going to have 60, 50 to 60 hours to play consecutively within a six week period. A lot of people do have those full-time jobs, those full-time families where they will, and other hobbies where they just will not have enough time to complete all of the content. 
So I think at a baseline, they do need to at least bump it up to 8 to 12 weeks. The third thing is going to be something that I already addressed previously, but I feel like it needs to be addressed again, and that's going to be saving additional content. I feel like they need to leave everything the way it is in the form of teleport spots, right? One of the things that people, I, I'm going to keep referencing D4, by the way, but one of the things that people hated about D4 is having to re-unlock the map multiple times and the teleport spots, the Lilith statues, which I would compare to the teleport towers and the... Um, and the uh, rift anchors right people don't want to do that over and over and over again like doing it once fine cool i get that but doing it multiple times is not something a casual player is going to want to do and looking through the seasonal inheritance it does not say that it's going to be saving those so that's one additional thing that i would say they really want to keep give us our map give us our towns and waystones i know it says that i'll keep the story progress but that doesn't guarantee it's going to keep all of our teleport towers and stuff like that right um in addition to that i feel like there's literally no reason to reset the mimetic skill tree you can go ahead and reset reset the mimetic specializations and character level that makes sense but the mimetic skill tree itself there's no reason to make players go ahead and respec through this because items like the advanced drills players aren't going to have these items early in a season so why not just not make them unlock it again what they should do in my opinion is expand and this is going to like segue into my next point of making uh, it additive content right just add more and more layers to this on top of what we already have i feel like that'd be a much healthier way for them to go ahead and do it compared to resetting it every time because i'm going to tell you right now to get your full medic skill tree uh specked out it's an, an insane amount of energy link and uh fucking meme points right where the casual player is not really going to get like half of this stuff and if they spend 30 40 hours getting this all unlocked they don't want to spend another 30 40 hours redoing it all in a couple of weeks so let us keep all of our memetics just for met uh, just respect the memetic specialization and the character level and i feel like that have a much more positive response from the player base than getting rid of everything altogether. um the third thing that I want to say as an additive feature is going to be um, it is going to be deviance, right? I want to see a, a addition to the deviant cap as well as one of the biggest things that I think will uh, cause players to continue to play is the uh, deviant pool. If you go ahead and keep all of these deviants and just expand them like add 5 10 30 deviants every season i feel like a lot of people will enjoy that that'll capitalize on the pal world player base as well and anyone who is a completionist or just collects pets or stuff like that you know there's players in old school runescape there's people in wow there's people in pal world right where we have this collection mindset towards pets where if you give us a lot of pets we will go out and collect these pets something that i was doing recently before the um recently before the uh, uh old school league was i was trying to farm a lone wolf whisper that was higher than the one one right and i was farming a couple of other pets to go ahead and kind of min max my pool of pets and i know i'm not the only player that is willing to do that i know there's a lot of players that are going to be wanting to do that 
And that's pretty much it. Just a couple of the things that I feel like would really help the once human seasons be successful. Because as of right now, with the response that I'm seeing from players, it is kind of negative. And I totally understand. A lot of people do not have the amount of time that it would take to get this grind done every season. So I feel like uh, we need to go ahead and get some changes one of the things that i have high hopes about is uh, the dev team for once human seems to be incredibly receptive to feedback like uh, it was in my praise of once human where they are incredibly receptive to feedback and they want to have a healthy long-term game that the players do enjoy and I believe they've already reached out to content creators uh, to go ahead and start getting some of that feedback because they were seeing that there was that negative initial response towards the seasons and they want to have a good game. Every dev wants to have a good game. So these are just a couple of things that I feel would really help the game grow and thrive. And I feel like a large majority of the player base would be happy with these implementations because majority of them is uh, majority of them are just quality of life. So to quickly recap TLDR at the end of the video here, uh, make it so it's additive content, expand to the seasons and add an internal realm are going to be the three biggest things that I can think of to make sure that the once human player base continues to grow and thrive. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my opinion on the current state of the season. Do you guys disagree? Do you agree? Tell me down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. I'm going to keep bringing it up um, in every video that I post on this channel. But since Path of Exile is coming out here, and it's the biggest league that we've had in years, I am going to be playing that quite significantly. Uh, I'll link my second channel down in the description if you guys want to check that out because I always make a bunch of videos for Path of Exile, mainly oriented around new players and helping new players. So if you've ever thought about checking out Path of Exile, go over there uh, and, and subscribe. And that's where I'm going to be for probably the next couple of weeks. Um, I know we have the third section unlocking for once human here in 20 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and beat that. That's probably going to be the next video. But for the section four, I'm probably not going to be able to do this right away, right? This unlocks in 20 hours. I'm going to be able to make sure that I get this done and my opinions on it. This is during the POE League. This is during the POE League. And this is during the POE League. So... It is going to be very hit and miss on how many videos I put on the channel. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care.